BARS stands for the Basic Aviation Risk Standard. And it was developed by the Flight Safety Foundation out of the United States to provide uh, resource companies, uh, international resource companies with a, with a standard for evaluating aviation companies uh, worldwide. So it's, it's basically an audit process that'll give uh, a resource company a quick reference to a benchmark for aviation safety. Uh, doesn't matter where they're operating, they could be operating in South America, North America, Africa. We're in our uh, first year being registered as a BARS uh, compliant company. So uh, in your first year, once you've uh, dealt with any audit findings, and uh, met the standard for those findings, you are uh, certified as a green compliant company. And then you do an audit every year, and depending on the status of your audits, you move up to silver gold. A lot of it maybe could, you could look at as duplication of uh, Transport Canada standard. So, in Canada, we already have a very high level of aviation uh, oversight, safety, monitoring. So in some ways, it's a duplication of that. Some of the standards are a little, maybe a little higher than Transport Canada's. In other cases, maybe Transport Canada's is uh, higher. It'll start just looking at the company organization, how the, the structure of the company um, the number of personnel of the aircraft, it'll, it lays out uh, certain requirements, a minimum aircraft equipment that uh, the aircraft have, have. It looks at the maintenance organization. It looks at the flight operations, the pilots, the experience, the training, the safety management system of the company. Um, Basically, it covers all aspects, how we uh, deal with passengers and uh, cargo freight manifesting of the passengers and the freight. 